Donkey of the Day for Thursday, August 16th goes to Gina Loudon. Now, Gina Loudon serves on President Donald Trump's 2020 Campaign Media Advisory Board. I don't even know what that is. But uh, she was on CNN debating my sister Angela Rye. Now, Angela Rye is always with the smoke. If you have ever seen Beyonce hold up video, remember the scene where Beyonce is hanging out the window with the baseball bat, looking like she's ready for whatever? That's Angela Rye all the time, okay? But this month, Angela Rye has been wearing braids all month because she's trying to protect her hair from heat. So I believe that Mercury is in retro braid, and that has not fared well for white folks on CNN. Now, Angela was having a discussion with Gina Loudon about diversity in the White House, and she made the absurd claim, Gina did, that previous presidents didn't need black employees to abolish slavery. Let's go to CNN to hear Gina's ridiculous rhetoric. What disappoints me is the division and the fact that we're having to count people based on their skin color. I don't like that. And I think that, you know, you look back at our history and we, we have a pretty amazing history of overcoming slavery, of uh, expanding civil rights, of women's rights. And a lot of those things happened under American presidents who didn't have any um, minorities at all on their White Houses. Thank God we do. I looked over the list of the people that I know there, and about one-third of them are a minority or a woman. Those are great strides. Could they be better? Absolutely. And I know, I talked to some of my friends in the White House tonight, and they said, yes, they would love more diversity in the White House. The problem is, when you have someone come out and defend the president or even say they want to sit down and have a conversation with them, for example, Kanye West, uh, they're completely annihilated in the press. Now, I don't believe in calling any woman a bitch, but I feel like Angela Rye caught herself last night from calling Gina a bitch. It kind of <laughs> slipped out. It kind of a little bit. <laughs> and, and, and one thing I love is when I can call up my family, people who are way smarter than me, who can give that intellectual smoke to people like Gina Loudon, because I'm not the highest grade of weed in the dispensary, but I could have sworn Frederick Douglass, a black man, was in Abraham Lincoln's end, was one of the reasons slavery was abolished. But what do I know? All I know is that Angela Rye doesn't always get the time to say what she wants on CNN, but this is The Breakfast Club, far cry from CNN, and today, Angela Rye got time. Angela, could you please let America know why Gina Gina Loudon deserves donkey of the day. Sure, there is a there's a one, a two, a three, a four A, and a four B. But I want to start with just correcting history, and that is she said that um, none there were none. But she was talking about minorities, none on their White Houses. First of all, wrong preposition. Mm -hmm. But also that we have always been a part of every White House. I have a T-shirt that says we built this joint for free, mm. which means that we were also a part of constructing literally the building, the mm. White House where now President Orangey dwells. So my point one is, she said a third of the current White House staff is minority or women. The fact that you have to group in black people, because the question was, how many black people work in the White House? Mm. Anytime you have to do that type of grouping, we women already know. And minorities. <laughs> women or minorities, right? right? Mm. The second was, she talked about the great accomplishments in America, the civil rights movement, ending slavery, and she said, with no minorities. It's just not even worth responding to. We know it's in, it's errant. You already brought up Frederick Douglass. She forgot all about Dr. King. Apparently, she's wrong. Addition to that, in addition to that, she said, for se she said, I don't like to have to count folks based on skin color. Again, I refer back to the question. The question was, how many <laughs> black people work at the White House? Yeah. So all of the excuses can go out the door. Four A is for bringing your child into this discussion, which apparently is now the 2018 version of I Have Black Friends. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, she talked about um, she would never be able to support Donald Trump if he didn't enact policies or if he enacted policies that would put her child in danger. Gina, we hate to break it to you. You're donkey of the day because you don't know that every policy this president interact in in enacts is harming your child, whether we're talking about the climate, which in, 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 it hurts all children, mm -hmm. or we're talking about policies that regularly discriminate against children of color, including her minority child. Mm. And that's why I call her AR-15. <laughs> Please let uh, Remy Ma give Gina Loudon the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw, you stupid mother are you dumb?